first off, on the newest news, I kind of spoiled this, I think, earlier today. Some magical sneak peek. I promised it, and so we're sneaking in here. And there, here he is, guys. So what is going on guys, my name is Zero and welcome back to some more Battle for Neighborville here today on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a big topic, we're going to be talking about the new zombie class coming to the game in March. We had a live stream on Friday that gave us a lot of information regarding many things about the game. We had balance changes, a prize map reveal, we had talk about legendary upgrades which could be potential variants, we had the reveal of the new multiplayer map, the new zombie class and even a little bit more information on a few different topics. So I am going to be breaking these down into separate videos just so you guys know exactly what we're going to be talking about in each video but of course today we are going to be talking about the new zombie class which to everyone's surprise which nobody at all expected is the wizard tim is coming to the game before we do get into that though i do want to mention that i do still have a giveaway going on at my channel right now if you click the link down in the description you'll be sent over to instant gaming's website you can choose anything from the website whatsoever so if you want to pick up plants vs zombies battle for neighborville or maybe you've already got plants vs zombies battle for neighborville and you want some xbox live or some playstation plus you can select that item that you want to win as the giveaway reward and if you want to check out any other deals they have going on their website as well click the second link in the description to be taken to the website we've only got a few more days so make sure you guys do enter before the giveaway does end and good luck to everyone that does enter but now let's actually take a look at the wizard class which is coming in march and it's actually going to be available in the march prize map i'm going to get onto the details exactly how you can unlock it in a little bit but first let's actually take a look at this character itself now yes he does look very different to tim which we can speak to in weirding woods but it is a very similar character model and i really like how this looks especially the first time i saw it we have a awesome wizard hat where he actually has a belt around his hat his staff looks amazing i really love the purple that he has on like the crystal orb at the end of his staff i think that is so 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 cool and then of course he has a very long beard and he looks absolutely amazing now you can actually see the background behind the wizard zombie is the look of the zombie festival that's because this is the festival that is going to be available and you can get him through the golden path of the prize map which means you know the second costume you get at the end of the prize map not 100 percent completing it but just like that second costume you can unlock the wizard for getting to that stage of the prize map and then of course if you 100% the prize map you're gonna get yourself an awesome costume for the wizard as well now we don't know what that's going to look like as of yet we're gonna find more information out about the wizard in a live stream in February which is gonna give us a lot more details about the wizard and probably some sneak previews of the prize map for look of the zombie as well now what we also know is that once the prize map has ended in Look of the Zombie, which is the merch festival, you will be able to purchase the wizard with coins. So if you wasn't able to complete the prize map or get to the wizard in the Look of the Zombie festival, you will be able to spend your coins on the wizard zombie as well. Now we don't know how many coins this is going to be as of yet, but start saving your coins just in case you don't manage to unlock him in the prize map. And then we also have a little bit of information regarding one of his special abilities. So like Oak and Acorn and the Space Cadet and the Space Station, when you have an Oak and then the little Acorns can kind of jump on top of the Oak, the Wizard has a very similar ability. He can actually turn into a Wizard Ball. However, instead of just being able to connect with other Wizards, like the Acorn can connect to other Oaks, the wizard can actually connect to any other zombie and that's going to give that zombie special abilities or maybe the wizard is going to have special abilities depending on which zombie it connects to. So you can connect to any other player on your team 
if you're in the sandbox mode, you can actually connect with AI as well. I'm not sure if you can connect with AI in multiplayer, but if you could be playing Turf Takeover and you could connect to like a coughing zombie or something, that would be pretty interesting. I'd love to know exactly what the special abilities are going to be. But you can also connect to a Deadbeard's Parrot as well. So if you're playing multiplayer and you see someone playing as a Deadbeard, you can turn into this wizard ball and kind of like connect with the Parrot Pal. And that apparently gives it some special abilities as well. So I cannot wait to find out what these special abilities are going to be. And apparently the Wizard Ball is only one of his abilities. So of course he's got multiple abilities. That's only one of them. So we don't know what his other abilities are going to be. And I cannot wait to find out. We'll find most of this information out hopefully in the next live stream, which is going to be in February. And I'll have a lot of information breaking down all of the information we received there. But let me know your thoughts on the Wizard Zombie. We knew it was coming for a while. We kind of saw some hints and teasers. And uh, I came up with an initial theory that a Wizard Zombie could be coming to the game. And I didn't know this. That was just pure speculation from the character model of Tim being the only one that wasn't actually in the game. And it turns out that it's actually happening, which is pretty awesome. So, let me know your thoughts on the Wizard Zombie down below. Thank you very much for watching. I'll have some more videos on some more information regarding the character balancing, the legendary upgrade, and more in some videos over the next coming days. But nonetheless, thank you very much for watching. My name is Zero, and I will catch you all in another video.